Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, we took the SSV Normandy out for some deep space exploration, located collectibles and minerals before finding a derelict ship with an angry biotic on board. Afterwards, we followed Helena Blake's advice to two frozen, uncharted planets and took out her rival syndicate criminal lords. Let's go! After a mission well done, I think it's important to talk to our, you know, our crew. You know what? But that's, let's, let's do a real mission. Like, let's not, let's not fiddle around. Let's go get, let's go get the final member of our team. That's what we need to do. All right. We're going to go to the Artemis Tau system. Uh, we'll try Athens first. All right, let's check the asteroid belt. Okay, asteroid belt's clear. Pharos? Distant Pharos has seen only a cursory examination by an unmanned probe. Its trace atmosphere of nitrogen and argine are gone. Surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of carbon. Deeper craters have been filled by ice, suggesting there might be a significant amount of water locked up beneath its frozen surface. What do we got? Turian Sigma recovers, insignia recovered. Scans of the planet Pharos revealed an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony insignia. Very good. Let's check out Nausissa. Traces of sodium in the atmosphere. Give it an overall dark gray color. It's otherwise atypical. Typical gas giant. Um, so, Salamis. Geological properties of Salamis have been scanned from orbit, but little else is known about it due to its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere and proximity to the energetic star Athens. The equatorial daytime temperatures have been known to turn the surface molten. The crust is composed of iron. Deposits of platinum and group metals. Alright, let's look at Proteus. Like the Hanar homeworld, Proteus has more than 90% oceanic cover. The incredible heat thrown off from Athens raises global humidity to 100%, creates constant cloud cover, and powers colossal typhoons that rage across the surface year round. Hot, humid, and storm racked Proteus' rare combination of oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, and carbon based biosphere, nevertheless recommended for colonization. Large amount of free oxygen. Okay. Well, we're not going to get anything in this star, so we need to go to the next one. Alright, let's go. Let's go to Nosos. Nosos. Let's try it. Oof, very bright star. The Arcanese gas giant? Small? Yeah. Small hydrogen helium gas giant. Arcanese has been developed as a full featured, if modest, stopover for ships hauling refined materials from Therum. Let's survey and see what we got. Large concentration of nitrogen. All right, so we're getting our gases. Let's check this asteroid belt. Oh, there we go, we found one. A dark carbon rich asteroid. Hey, scans of the asteroid field revealed some strange readings. The remains of an abandoned Salarian fighter. They got a League of One medallion, okay. Keep scanning the rest of the asteroid belt here. All right, we'll scan the inner one. Ah, here we go. Metallic asteroid. Another platinum asteroid, okay. All 
Alright, let's take a look at Zakros. Terrestrial world, nitrogen, methane atmosphere. This frigid surface is mostly made of water ice and a hydrocarbon slush. Can't even support a, uh, a saw, the weight of a full landed ship. Oof. How about Therum? Ah, a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with the fossils of simple silicon-based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable in the past than it is at the present. Perhaps this explains the many Prothean ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining corporations. I'm fairly certain that's where our Liara Tassoni is at. So let's check the other planets. Small terrestrial planet with carbon dioxide and xenon. It's scorching hot. Not anything to get there. How about Armeni? Unusually thin atmosphere of krypton and xenon. It's made of silica with carbonaceous materials and silica deposits. The initial flyby probe of Armeni detected multiple areas at the equator with oddly regular surface protrusions. Closer investigation revealed these as millions of elaborate crypts a few meters below the surface left by a long extinct spacefaring species called the Zeof. Many human universities wish to perform archaeological excavations. Council law holds grave sites as sacrosanct, however. The matter has been tied up in the court for a decade. But Prothean ruins, that's perfectly fine. Let's prep for landing. I'm thinking our crew on this one. Will be Tally Zora and Ashley Williams. I was not feeling Caden Alenko's contribution as much. Alright, Mako deployed. Commander, oh. I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay. Let's see what we get. Ah. Did not realize we were quite so molten here. Let's level up. I think we'll take... Let's go with improved marksman. And then I would like... Um, I'd like to get better armor. Let's go with the, ta the assault training. Let's see, Ashley, uh, Tally, you have those already. Maybe you need to marksman damage and take the quarry and machinists. No, we'll unlock first aid. We'll do it that way. And then Ashley, you will go with uh, first aid as well. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We're not ready yet. Let's look at our weapons here. So we have a scimitar shotgun. I think we will take that. And then... Heat sink, heat absorption, level 1 detection. Let's go with level 1 detection on the shotgun. And... The hammerhead rounds... Yeah, I mean, that weapon's force is nice, but... I'd almost rather take the anti-personnel rounds. And then on our pistol, we'll, we'll use the armor-piercing rounds. 
yeah. Now, for the amp, we do have, we can go with the Gemini amp for faster cooldown, but generally, I like having the higher power. I like the Solaris amp, so I don't think we're going to use these. But I am going to give Ashley the Duelist armor. Yep. As well as... Yeah, we'll go with the first aid set. I'd really like her to start tanking more. And then for the assault rifle... Should stick with the Avenger too. And at that point, I'll give you... You can have hammerhead rounds and the heat sink, yeah. Tally, we don't really have any quarry... Uh, yeah, quarrying armor or a tech tool. And your pistols are kind of garbage. Okay, all right. And now that we've got all that set up, Let's just go ahead and save, you know. So all that's set up. It's a pretty gross looking planet. Big molten slag heap. All right, I do see some sort of structure over that way. Yeah, we're going to have to go around, though. Okay. We'll just keep pushing forward. What the heck? It's the Geth. Yep. Alright, that's one. Get out of the way. Yeah, these are basically Geth ground assault vehicles. Yep. Okay. Geth armature. Dropship flew right in over top of us, so they obviously know we're here. Yeah, I can see all that red up ahead. All right, okay. Oof. This route's a no-go. They have height and cover. Okay, 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 okay. Height and cover. Okay, let's let's see if we can go this way. Yep, hold on. No, this isn't this isn't the path we want to take. Okay, okay. I see the other turret there. go there we go okay we're just gonna turn this way yep we'll get in this little valley here there's something up there that one's gonna hit us nope okay um I'm tempted to go up there and see what is what's what's placed up there could just be around the around the bend here though 
Let's look at uh, where can we put these points? They're going to do us a lot of good. Advanced warp would be nice. Probably let's go all the way in on pistols. No. We need to unlock tactical armor so we can start using medium armor. That's 100% what it is. Yep. To here. Mm -hmm. Ashley, you're just going to double down on assault rifles, like, all the way. Yep. And Tally. Dampening sounds good. No, let's... Hacking! Yeah! Fighting the Geth. Let's get some hacking going. Oh, and first aid. Yep. Okay. New gear. Recoil damper shield battery. I'm gonna go with shield battery three. For more shields, please. Thank you much. Ah. Okay. Oh, those Geth didn't know what hit him. You're coming for the Mako? Really? <laughs> I love it. Throwing bodies. Where are you? All right. Proceed on foot. Everybody's got their gear. Rocket trooper, huh? Not a good time. Not a good time at all. Ah, Avengers. So we'll open this door. Sloppy. That was surgical precision with that shotgun. Oh, here we go. What have we got over here? Kessler 4. Kind of like that. Banshee Unity Amp. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at that stuff. That stuff speaks to me. Radioactive rounds. Shock absorbers. No, no, no. What I want is... Unity Amp 3. That's still not... Oh, I'm looking for that Solaris Amp. Hmm. Oh, the Kessler 4 is just not as good as the Stinger 2. It's still better even without the modification. Yeah, the Geth did seem to know we we're coming. That is a fact. Cannot deny that. Hold on. We already opened this door, but... We're gonna hide something in here? Uh-huh. An upgrade kit. I want that in my life. Yep. All these rounds. And we can always take them for Omni-Gel. If we need, and we once we get a surplus of Omni Gel, we can stop playing the uh, the decryption game. Mm. I know there's more Geth over here.
Well, maybe we should uh, maybe we should go demote Joker for getting us detected by the Gap. You know, he's supposed to be this awesome pilot. All right. Yep. I would like you to short circuit this thing. Ugh, aiming all the way over there? How bizarre. So with Omnigel, you can override um, decryption so you don't have to do this. It's not a big deal. Ideally, it's probably better to sell everything for money so that you can buy other stuff. already done this one. Yep. Thorough. Trying to be thorough. All right. Tally, Ashley, on me. We're going back in the Mako. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I see him. I see him up there. Nice. There we go. Oh, we got another one. Oops. Yeah, that one got us. Twice, even. Oof, this planet is just gross. Let's not take the Mako into the lava, please. Oh my gosh. It would be nightmarish. All right, more Geth just got dropped off. Yep, there we go. Nice, okay, okay. Not so bad, doing all right. Oh, rocket troopers with man portable rocket launchers. Nope, nope. Gotta dodge. Fast and loose. That's a Colossus. No, no, no. Back up, back up, back up. Get out of the way. Oh, we still got hit by the area of effect on that one. There you go, just ram them. Hit them in the legs and run them. Oh, no, 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 move, move, move. Nice, there we go, okay. Let's, let's actually turn around instead of driving backwards. Thanks, thanks, Shepard. Right, getting further down the path. No, we're going to be trying to stay out of the lava. Don't, don't, don't shoot me with those rockets. Woo we're just going to run you over. How about this? Ooh, swing and a miss. Oof. Okay, okay. going.
Okay, this is not where we're going. <laughs> Look at those tires bogging out in the mud. Oh my gosh. Oof, not the rocks. There we go. Oof, easy. Easy does it. All right, follow this old pipeline here. Running right over the Geth. You cannot stop me. Back up, back up. Oh yeah. Well done. All right, now we're gonna slow down a little bit so we don't cost ourselves serious problems. All right, we walk from here. Charges all talents so they can be used immediately. Very important one. Okay. Why are the Geth here? All right, Tally, I need you to maybe hack this rocket trooper, please. Okay, this isn't gonna work, Ashley. You're gonna have to give me the cover, please. There we go, there we go. Right here. Overload this geth, please. Immediately. Oh, man. Critical mission failure. Don't you do it. All right. Okay. Okay. We've got this. What we need is that rocket drone, that uh, rocket ge uh, launching Geth on our side. Come on. There you go, there you go. Right there. Hack that one, please. Yeah, there you go. Hit your friends a little bit with that action. Come on. There you go. And you will overload this one. And you're going to go overkill, please. All right, okay. Hmm, yes. Okay, hold on. We're gonna use marksman, yep. There we go, very good, very good. Got another location here that's got elevation on us. Okay, Rocket Trooper, you're on my side now. There you go, get hacked. Alright, now let's um, overload the Rocket Trooper so we don't gotta deal with it. <laughs> it was like, wait, I'm on your side. No, no.
Hold on, we're just trying to take cover over here now. Let's not do anything ridiculous. Get him, Ashley. Close in. There we go. Level up. I will take that immediately. Ah, what am I saying? Armor, tactical armor is what we need to work on. Yep, gotta stick with that tactical armor till we get it. Ashley, you're gonna go all in on the assault rifles. And then Tally, let's put you in the uh, advanced first aid category. And then maybe get a little bit better with the hacking. Okay, what sort of equipment have we got? Pack, group sighting. We'll just take all the mods. I don't think I'm going to mess with the gear just yet. But we do need to remember to do the leveling up whenever the opportunity presents itself. That's kind of a big deal. I hear Geth. We've got to fight an armature without the Mako. Swell. We're combat jammed as well. No, right there. You. Oh, Tally's jammed. Ashley, I'd like you to put your. Oh, Tally's done for. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that stalker. Okay, what we need is for Tally to get back up and come to me. Sit down. All right, med kit. Oh, they overheated my gun. Oh, they overheated my gun. Okay, okay, okay. And then they flushed us out. So what we needed to do was... All right, okay. Um, rally on me immediately. Tally, you cannot be out in the open like that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. There's so much damage. Tally, back this way now. Pull back, pull back. Alright, one down. Right there. No, 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 pull back. All right, here we go. Carnage active. Here it comes. There you go. There you go. Grenade. Nope, I missed. Switch him back to the pistol here. Come on. This get stalker. No, rally. I hear him. 
We're not gonna get any rest back here. Like, our cover is just worthless while the Stalker is running on us. I'm gonna try to hit him with a throw and knock him down. There we go. Got him. Okay, hold on, hold on. I would like this one hacked, please, immediately. Alright, rally back. Pull back, pull back. Okay, alright. This stalker is just... Oh! Sniped! Okay. All right. Pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Ah. So fast. Oh, overheated my gun. Oh no, Ashley! Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, we got one of them. But I don't think that's, I mean, there's still a second one. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, they cooled down my abilities, so... Bring in this, yep, and the shield boosts. No, I want those backwards. Ashley, give yourself a shield boost now. Ugh. Oh, come on. There you go, there you go. Next. Okay, okay. Alright. As soon as it jumps back there. Go, got him. Okay, okay. I can see it. All right, let's shield boost. Oh my gosh, this thing. These stalkers are ridiculous. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Being jammed. Sally, I'd like you to overload this sucker. Come on. Gosh, darn it. Got it. Okay, okay, okay.
Okay. All right, it's just the armature now. Ashley, run up there. Um, get your shield boost first. Go, come on, go. There's a second target over there. Tally, you need to take uh, cover, like, now. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. There's a second enemy over there besides the armature. Yep. Come on. Come on. Alright, um, overload, Ad adrenaline. Oh, Ashley. You absolutely have to take cover in that scenario now. Come on. You know better than that. Allie, go ahead and see if you can sabotage it. Alright. Yep. Let's bring everybody back. Meta gel for Ashley. Ashley's perma dead. Ashley was just prone on the ground, like, I can't get up, boss. Back behind cover, come on. Okay, there's the armature down. Just one remaining. Yep. I see you. You're not hiding from me. Sit down. Done. Alright. Come on, Ashley. Get up. Get up. Oh, man. I don't see a way in over here. And that was all. Hold on. We're going to look back behind this stuff here. What is that? It's making that sound. Oh, it's like one of some kind of mining mechanism? Yeah. Okay. All right. Then we'll just go down into the mine. Oof, that was rough. That's uh that's what you get on insanity. Mhm. Mm ah. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I dare say that was the last of them, though. Oh, well, maybe not. There you go. Sit down. Okay. All right. Come on. Sniper. Nope. There you go. 
Sniper. No sniping. It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. Works for me. Let's take the elevator. Come on. I'm just going to stand here awkwardly and look at each other. Okay. I mean, I'm good with it. I just want to make sure that's what you guys want to do. Yeah? Everybody's good with that? No, okay. For some reason, I thought the drones would go down in, uh, like, one shot. I thought I would just walk up on them and, uh, and, uh, one-shot them. But that drone was, like, laughing at my shotgun. Which, I don't know if I just, like... Uh, that's fine, take all that. I don't know if I just really have a horrible shotgun. I have a Scimitar 3! With, oh, anti-personnel rounds. Even still. Oh, it's just gotta be that I don't have the I don't have the points in shotguns, maybe? I feel like the Scimitar 3 should have shredded that thing. Have a seat. No, I insist. I insist. Why don't you get your atomic structure warped, huh? <laughs> I hit you. I hit you with the butt of my gun. That's really what the Vanguard is supposed to be about, but... We'll have to wait to really see the Vanguard shine. That's not a place we can go. Okay. All right. So. Take the elevator. I don't think there's a way for me to... Yeah, pistols are just are just what we're going to get. Okay. Again, we're kind of going to hang out. Ashley, how's it going? Do you feel like talking about our recent string of deaths, maybe? No? Are you sure? Are you certain? Alright. Ashley's like, let's just not charge the uh, the drones again, huh? Oh, are you kidding me? How about we pull back and med gel? Jeez. Can you guys uh, shield and... We'll just use marksman on this one, yeah. Pally! Pally, no! Oh my gosh! These assault drones are not to be trifled with. Good night. Alright, guys, come on. How about we actually do a little bit of damage here? Come on. Thank you. Provians built to last. Looks like a lava flow port in here. Alright, hey, you guys want to do the elevator thing again? Boy, outside the elevator, you're all Protheans built stuff to. Oh, snap. Okay. Well, the Protheans really uh. built the. Oh. Could somebody help me? Yeah. Please? That's, that's what we're trying to do. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Oof, don't be so loud. Quit shouting. This place is crawling with Geth. Sorry, I am a little... Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. Mm -hmm. I am an archaeologist. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? 
How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! Yeah. I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Ugh, you did this you shouldn't yourself. have been messing with technology you don't understand. <laughs> I wasn't going to let the Geth capture me. Besides, I know how it works. Mostly. <laughs> there is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Got it. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Krogan with the gap. Watch out, watch the rockets, guys. Watch the rockets. Oh, oh, hold on. There we go, there we go. Yep, yep. There you go. And then overload for you. Using the, why are you using the sniper rifle? Don't do that. Get back to your pistol. Get back to your assault rifle. Come on now. There you go. Put a warp on him. Hmm. Let's get some of these uh, goods over here. Recoil damper. Oof. Don't, don't let me... Not like this. Not like this. Weapon locker? I'll take some of that action. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, Got this. All right. Down, left, right. Down, left, right, right, right. Oh, how many times am I going to miss it? Up. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. Ooh, my goodness. Oh, man. I can't believe how hard that was. Okay. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Yeah. We blasted through with the mining laser. There you go. Of course. Superior yes, firepower. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Hold on, Commander. Her mother's working with Saren. Can we trust her? Ooh. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. Yeah. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Yep. We do. We need her. What if I get imprisoned in a stasis bubble? Now, are we <sighs> thinking this through? Okay. Oof. Just drop her on the ground. 
Any idea how we get out of this place? Mm. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! Okay. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Mm. Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was oh, that? Oh, yeah? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Yep. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. Yep. ETA eight minutes. Immediately. Do it. He needs to move faster. Okay. We're all just gonna hang out and stretch our necks. No big deal. Uh-huh. Okay. This is how that goes. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. Yeah. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! Exactly. <sighs> I like your attitude. Take cover. Um, hold on. The rocket trooper. We need that one hacked, please. Ashley, give yourself a shield boost. Oh, my gosh. They killed the they killed the rocket drone like immediately. Okay, okay. Sniper's gotta go. The sniper has to go. Alright, the Krogan Battlemaster is not gonna be able to handle all of us. We just have to rush him and outpace his uh, life regeneration. Crap, crap, crap. Throw, 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 throw. Come on. Come on. Sabotage the Krogan. Oh! Oh! Krogan melee attack. I saw him. I saw him charging too. No. All right, let's see if we can hack the rocket drone this time before they zero in on him. There you go. Krogan's going to kill the rocket drone pretty quick. I got the sniper. Oh, snap. Come on. Uh, come to me. Yep. Nope. Back here. All right, okay. Oh! My throw is not sh so so when you go to your abilities, hold on a second. Let's let's talk about this cuz this is kind of fun. Yourself. When you go to your abilities, your throw has a has a force of how many newtons it hits the target with, and because we just have the level one throw, that Krogan shrugged that off like it was a strong wind. He was like, "Okay, <laughs> not 
Not nearly enough. Or if you can. Not nearly no, enough. Doesn't matter. Come back. Take cover here. Um. Get rid of this sniper. Okay, okay. Tally's pinned down. No, we need that rocket drone. Come on. There we go, there we go. Rocket trooper hacked, please. Oh, we missed. That's not fun. All right, hold on now. Rally back to me. Okay, okay. Liara, you wanna help? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. There we go. Yep. He's going to try to regenerate. Krogan are just so damn strong. There we go. Got him. Whew. Okay. All right. Oh, run. Look back, Shepard. Oof. You better hop on to the Normandy. There you go. Very good. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. <laughs> I see. It must be a human thing. Yeah. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. there you and go. not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. What? How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Uh, I don't think you're wasting your time. What did you learn? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this? Theory? Yeah, how do you know I that? There wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. So like a and gut eventually, feeling. eventually I will be able to prove it. 
There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This hmm. cycle has repeated itself many times over. Get to the point. Yeah. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Yes. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. They disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. You're not much of an expert, Doctor. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. Yup. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines. The Reapers. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. Mm -hmm. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. That's right. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. Visions. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. That explains I it. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. <laughs> of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Yikes. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted well. you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Yep. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans Indeed. might be useful later on. Hopefully. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. There you Thank go. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was <laughs> the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. Yeah. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. Maybe. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. We're done. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't <laughs> tell me how to do my job. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. I don't need this. I'm done. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. Disconnect. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Not gonna listen to that. Not at all.